Question one. In Maryland, under what circumstances is a security guard legally allowed to use force? A. A security guard can use force any time they feel threatened. B. A security guard can use force only when it is necessary to protect themselves or others from immediate harm. C. A security guard can use force to detain anyone suspected of shoplifting. D. A security guard can use force to remove trespassers from the property. Correct answer. B. A security guard can use force only when it is necessary to protect themselves or others from immediate harm. Explanation. In Maryland, the use of force by security guards is governed by strict legal standards. Security guards are only allowed to use force when it is necessary to protect themselves or others from immediate harm. This is consistent with the principle of proportionality in self-defense and defense of others. Force used must be reasonable and appropriate to the threat faced. Excessive or inappropriate use of force can result in criminal charges and civil liabilities. Maryland law emphasizes that the use of force must be a last resort and always proportionate to the threat encountered. Maryland Code, Criminal Law SS 3201. Question 2. Jane, a security guard at a large shopping mall in Maryland, notices smoke coming from one of the stores. The fire alarm has not yet sounded. What should Jane do first in this situation? A. Ignore the smoke and wait for the fire alarm to activate. B. Immediately attempt to put out the fire herself with a fire extinguisher. C. Pull the fire alarm to start the evacuation process and then call 911. D. Call her supervisor to report the smoke and ask for instructions. Correct answer. C. Pull the fire alarm to start the evacuation process and then call 911. Explanation. In case of a fire or smoke detection, the primary responsibility of a security guard is to ensure the safety of all individuals within the premises. Pulling the fire alarm immediately initiates the evacuation process, which is crucial for preventing harm to shoppers and staff. After activating the alarm, Jane should call 911 to report the fire and provide essential details to the emergency responders. Attempting to extinguish the fire without notifying others can delay the necessary evacuation and potentially endanger lives. Maryland's fire safety regulations emphasize the importance of prompt evacuation and notifying emergency services, Maryland Fire Prevention Code. Question 3. Which of the following is the best practice for a security guard monitoring a CCTV system in Maryland to detect suspicious activities effectively? A. Focus on one camera feed at a time to catch all details. B. Regularly change the camera feed to avoid getting bored. C. Maintain situational awareness by scanning multiple feeds systematically and looking for anomalies. D. Only watch the camera feeds during peak hours to conserve energy. Correct answer. C. Maintain situational awareness by scanning multiple feeds systematically and looking for anomalies. Explanation. Effective monitoring of CCTV systems requires a systematic approach to maintain situational awareness. Security guards should be trained to scan multiple camera feeds regularly to detect any suspicious activities or anomalies. This method helps ensure that no significant incidents are missed. Focusing on a single feed or only monitoring during peak hours can result in oversight of critical events. Best practices in surveillance recommend a balanced approach that keeps the guard engaged and vigilant throughout their shift, ensuring comprehensive coverage and quick response to any incidents. Maryland Department of Public Safety and Correctional Services Guidelines. Question 4. Which of the following is the best practice for conducting effective patrols in a Maryland office building? A. Always follow the same route and schedule to establish a routine. B. Vary the patrol route and schedule to increase unpredictability. C. Avoid engaging with any individuals during patrols to stay focused. D. Only conduct patrols during daylight hours for better visibility. Correct answer. B. Vary the patrol route and schedule to increase unpredictability. Explanation. Varying the patrol route and schedule is a key best practice in security operations. This unpredictability helps deter potential rounders who might be observing the patterns to exploit weaknesses. By not having a predictable routine, security guards can effectively prevent and respond to incidents more efficiently. Maryland security guidelines emphasize the importance of unpredictability in patrol techniques to enhance security and prevent criminal activities. Maryland Security Professionals Act. Question 5. Mark, a security guard in a Maryland hospital, witnesses a minor altercation between two visitors in the lobby. Both visitors quickly calm down and apologize to each other. What should Mark do next day? Ignore the incident since it resolved itself. Be right. 
a detailed report of the incident and submit it to his supervisor. C. Call the police to report the altercation. D. Give both visitors a warning and let them go. Correct answer. B. Write a detailed report of the incident and submit it to his supervisor. Explanation. Even though the situation was resolved peacefully, it is crucial for Mark to document the incident in a detailed report. This documentation is important for maintaining a record of all incidents, no matter how minor, and ensures transparency and accountability. Reporting allows the hospital administration to be aware of all occurrences and take necessary actions if similar incidents happen in the future. Proper documentation aligns with the reporting protocols outlined by Maryland Security Regulations, Maryland Occupational Safety and Health MOSH guidelines. Question 6. During a fire emergency in a Maryland office building, what is the primary responsibility of a security guard? A. Ensure the safety of all personnel and assist in evacuation. B. Attempt to extinguish the fire regardless of size. C. Secure all exits to prevent unauthorized entry. D. Document the fire incident as it happens. Correct answer. A. Ensure the safety of all personnel and assist in evacuation. Explanation. The primary responsibility of a security guard during a fire emergency is to ensure the safety of all personnel and assist in their evacuation. This involves guiding individuals to exits, ensuring that evacuation routes are clear, and assisting those who need help. Attempting to extinguish the fire should only be done if it is safe and the fire is small. Otherwise, the priority is to evacuate and wait for emergency responders. Maryland Fire Safety Regulations emphasize that life safety is the top priority during emergencies. Maryland Fire Prevention Code. Question 7. Which of the following best describes the ethical responsibility of a security guard in Maryland when handling confidential information? A. Share confidential information with coworkers for better coordination. B. Only disclose confidential information to authorized personnel. C. Keep all information to themselves, even if it might affect security. D. Use confidential information to leverage better working conditions. Correct answer. B. Only disclose confidential information to authorized personnel. Explanation. Security guards have a critical ethical responsibility to handle confidential information with care. In Maryland, they must only disclose such information to authorized personnel to maintain the integrity and security of the information. An authorized disclosure can lead to security breaches, legal issues, and a loss of trust. The ethical guidelines emphasize confidentiality as a key component of professional conduct, Maryland Security Professionals Act. Question 8. Sarah, a security guard at a Maryland warehouse, notices a suspicious package left unattended in a high-traffic area. What should Sarah do next? A. Move the package to a safe location to prevent any potential danger. B. Call her supervisor and wait for instructions. C. Notify her supervisor and call local authorities to handle the situation. D. Ignore the package since it's probably harmless. Correct answer. C. Notify her supervisor and call local authorities to handle the situation. Explanation. When encountering a suspicious package, the correct procedure is to notify a supervisor and call local authorities immediately. Moving the package can be dangerous as it might be an explosive or hazardous device. Authorities have the training and equipment to handle such situations safely. Ignoring the package could result in significant harm if it turns out to be dangerous. Maryland safety procedures prioritize notifying the appropriate authorities to ensure the safety of all individuals. Maryland Emergency Management Agency Guidelines. Question 9. When using CCTV for surveillance in a Maryland shopping mall, what is the most important factor to ensure effective monitoring? A. The number of cameras installed. B. The resolution of the camera feeds. C. The placement and angle of the cameras. D. The color of the camera housings. Correct answer. C. The placement and angle of the cameras. Explanation. The placement and angle of the cameras are crucial for effective surveillance. Properly positioned cameras can cover high traffic and vulnerable areas, reducing blind spots and enhancing security coverage. While the number of cameras and their resolution are important, they are secondary to strategic placement. Correct positioning allows for comprehensive monitoring, which is essential for detecting and responding to incidents. This aligns with best practices in surveillance and security systems as recommended by Maryland Security Guidelines, Maryland Department of Public Safety and Correctional Services. Question 10. 
which of the following best practices should a maryland security guard follow to ensure effective and thorough patrolling a always patrol alone to avoid distractions b use a random varied route and timing to conduct patrols c focus on the same high-risk areas every time to ensure thorough monitoring d only patrol during daylight hours for better visibility correct answer b use a random varied route and timing to conduct patrols explanation to ensure effective and thorough patrolling security guards should use a random and varied route and timing this unpredictability makes it more difficult for potential offenders to anticipate the guards movements thereby reducing the risk of security breaches constantly varying patrols help in covering different areas and detecting unusual activities aligning with maryland's best practices for security operations maryland security professionals act question 11 john a security guard in a maryland shopping center encounters an individual who is behaving aggressively and threatens to harm other shoppers what should john do according to maryland's guidelines on the use of force a use physical force immediately to subdue the individual b call for backup and try to escalate the situation verbally c ignore the individual and continue with his patrol d detain the individual using handcuffs without any verbal warning correct answer b call for backup and try to escalate the situation verbally explanation in maryland security guards are trained to use force only as a last resort the first step should be to call for backup and attempt to escalate the situation verbally this approach prioritizes safety and aims to resolve the conflict without physical intervention physical force should only be used when absolutely necessary to protect oneself or others from immediate harm maryland law emphasizes escalation techniques and minimal use of force maryland code criminal law ss3201 question 12 during a large event in maryland what is a key strategy for a security guard to manage and control a crowd effectively a use loud and aggressive commands to control the crowd b establish clear communication channels and provide clear instructions c allow the crowd to self-regulate to avoid confrontation d focus on controlling only the front part of the crowd correct answer b establish clear communication channels and provide clear instructions explanation effective crowd control relies on clear communication and providing clear instructions security guards should establish communication channels to inform and guide the crowd this can involve using public address systems signage and visible presence to direct crowd movement and manage flow odd and aggressive commands can escalate tensions while relying on the crowd to self-regulate can lead to chaos controlling only the front part of the crowd is insufficient and comprehensive management is necessary to ensure overall safety maryland's guidelines for event security emphasize proactive communication and clear guidance maryland event security guidelines question 13 as a security guard in maryland what is the correct procedure to follow when encountering a person who appears to be unconscious and not breathing a immediately start chest compressions without checking for responsiveness b check for responsiveness call 911 and then begin cpr if there is no response c move the person to a seated position to help with breathing D. Wait for emergency medical personnel to arrive before taking any action. Correct answer. B. Check for responsiveness. Call 911. And then begin CPR if there is no response. Explanation. The correct procedure involves first checking for responsiveness by tapping the person and shouting. If there is no response and the person is not breathing, call 911 immediately. After calling for help, Begin CPR, starting with chest compressions, to maintain circulation until emergency medical personnel arrive. This procedure aligns with the guidelines set by the American Heart Association and is critical in Maryland to ensure timely and effective intervention during medical emergencies. Maryland Emergency Medical Services System Act. Question 14. David, a security guard at a Maryland office building, notices someone trying to tailgate, follow closely behind an authorized employee to gain access to the building. What should David do in this situation? A. Allow the person to enter if they appear to know the employee. B. Politely stop the person and ask for their identification and access credentials. C. Ignore the situation since the employee might be aware of the tailgater. D. Confront the person aggressively and detain them immediately. Correct answer. B. Politely stop the person and ask for their identification and access credentials explanation 
In this scenario, David should politely stop the person and ask for their identification and access credentials. Tailgating is a common security breach tactic and it is crucial to verify each individual's authorization to enter. Handling the situation politely and professionally ensures security while maintaining a respectful interaction. Confronting the person aggressively or ignoring the situation can either escalate the issue or compromise security. Maryland's access control guidelines emphasize verifying credentials and maintaining professional conduct. Maryland Security Professionals Act. Question 15. Which of the following best practices enhances a security guard's ability to observe and report incidents accurately in Maryland? A. Relying on memory alone to report incidents. B. Taking detailed notes and documenting observations immediately. C. Reporting only major incidents and ignoring minor ones. D. Using vague descriptions to avoid misunderstandings. Correct answer. B. Taking detailed notes and documenting observations immediately. Explanation. Accurate observation and reporting are critical skills for security guards. The best practice is to take detailed notes and document observations immediately. This ensures that information is recorded while it is fresh and accurate, providing a reliable account of incidents. Relying on memory alone can lead to inaccuracies, and ignoring minor incidents might miss important patterns or precursors to larger issues. Using vague descriptions can cause misunderstandings and hinder effective response. Maryland security guidelines emphasize the importance of precise and timely documentation for effective incident management. Maryland Department of Public Safety and Correctional Services. Question 16. Which of the following actions is permissible for a security guard in Maryland when detaining a suspect for a misdemeanor? A. Use deadly force to prevent the suspect from escaping. B. Handcuff the suspect and search them for weapons. C. Hold the suspect until law enforcement arrives without using excessive force. D. Question the suspect without informing them of their rights. Correct answer. C. Hold the suspect until law enforcement arrives without using excessive force. Explanation. In Maryland, a security guard has the right to detain a suspect for a misdemeanor but must do so without using excessive force. Deadly force is not permissible unless there is an imminent threat to life. Handcuffing and searching for weapons are generally reserved for law enforcement unless there is a clear, immediate threat. Additionally, questioning a suspect without informing them of their rights can lead to legal issues and is not within the security guard's authority. This approach aligns with Maryland law regarding the rights and responsibilities of security personnel in Maryland Code, Criminal Law SS 3201. Question 17. Jane, a security guard at a Maryland hotel, is alerted to a possible fire in one of the guest rooms. Upon arriving at the scene, she sees smoke but no visible flames. What should Jane do first? A. Try to extinguish the fire using a fire extinguisher. B. Evacuate the immediate area and call the fire department. C. Ignore the smoke and assume it will dissipate. D. Open all windows to let the smoke out. Correct answer. B. Evacuate the immediate area and call the fire department. Explanation. Jane's primary responsibility is to ensure the safety of the guests and herself. The first step is to evacuate the immediate area to prevent harm from smoke inhalation and potential fire spread. After ensuring that everyone is safe, she should call the fire department to handle the situation professionally. Trying to extinguish the fire without proper training and equipment can be dangerous, and ignoring the smoke can lead to severe consequences. Opening windows might spread the fire and is not an appropriate initial response. These actions are consistent with Maryland's Fire Safety and Emergency Response Protocols, Maryland Fire Prevention Code. Question 18. When monitoring CCTV footage in a Maryland retail store, what is the most effective method for identifying suspicious behavior? A. Focus solely on customers who seem nervous. B. Watch for repeated patterns of behavior that indicate possible theft. C. Monitor only the high value merchandise areas. D. Alert store management immediately whenever anyone touches a product. Correct answer. B. Watch for repeated patterns of behavior that indicate possible theft. Explanation. The most effective method for identifying suspicious behavior through CCTV is to observe repeated patterns that indicate possible theft. This could include actions such as repeatedly picking up and putting down items, looking around frequently, or staying in one area for an unusually long time. 
focusing solely on nervous customers or high value areas can lead to oversight of other suspicious activities alerting store management without proper observation can result in false alarms and inefficiency maryland's guidelines for surveillance emphasize the importance of pattern recognition and thorough observation for effective loss prevention maryland department of public safety and correctional services question nineteen when documenting an incident report in maryland what is the most crucial element to include for accuracy and completeness a personal opinions about the incident b detailed descriptions of the incident including time date and individuals involved c only the outcome of the incident d guesses about what might have happened correct answer b detailed descriptions of the incident including time date and individuals involved explanation for an incident report to be accurate and complete it is crucial to include detailed descriptions of the incident this includes the time date location and the identities of all individuals involved as well as a factual objective account of what transpired personal opinions guesses or focusing solely on the outcome can lead to inaccuracies and misinterpretations maryland's security guidelines emphasize the importance of clear factual reporting to ensure proper documentation and follow-up maryland department of public safety and correctional services question twenty michael a security guard in a maryland hospital is approached by two patients arguing loudly in the waiting area one patient accuses the other of cutting in line what should michael do to resolve the conflict effectively a ignore the argument as it is not his concern b use a loud voice to assert authority and demand they stop arguing c separate the individuals and listen to each side calmly before making a decision d threaten to call the police if they do not stop immediately correct answer c separate the individuals and listen to each side calmly before making a decision explanation effective conflict resolution involves separating the individuals to de-escalate the situation and listening to each side calmly this approach helps to understand the root cause of the conflict and allows for a fair and balanced resolution ignoring the argument can lead to escalation and using a loud voice or making threats can exacerbate the tension maryland's conflict resolution guidelines stress the importance of calm effective communication and mediation techniques to resolve disputes peacefully maryland security professionals act question twenty one in the context of maryland's security guard duties which of the following is the best practice for protecting sensitive information on a computer a sharing passwords with trusted coworkers for easier access b regularly updating software and using strong unique passwords c writing down passwords and keeping them in a desk drawer for convenience d using the same password for all accounts to remember them easily correct answer b regularly updating software and using strong unique passwords explanation protecting sensitive information on a computer involves regularly updating software to protect against vulnerabilities and using strong unique passwords for each account sharing passwords writing them down in an accessible place or using the same password for all accounts increases the risk of unauthorized access and data breaches maryland's cybersecurity guidelines highlight the importance of maintaining secure practices to protect sensitive information and ensure system integrity maryland department of information technology question twenty two as a maryland security guard which action best demonstrates professionalism and adherence to ethical standards a eh? accepting small gifts from clients to build good relationships b sharing sensitive information with colleagues to keep them informed c reporting any unethical behavior observed regardless of the person involved d using security equipment for personal tasks during downtime correct answer c reporting any unethical behavior observed regardless of the person involved explanation professionalism and ethical standards require a security guard to report any unethical behavior observed regardless of who is involved accepting gifts sharing sensitive information without proper authorization and using security equipment for personal tasks violate ethical guidelines and compromise the integrity and trust required in the security profession adhering to these ethical standards is critical for maintaining public trust and upholding the responsibilities of a security guard in maryland maryland security professionals act question twenty three sarah a security guard at a maryland shopping mall notices smoke coming from a store what should she do first to ensure a safe and effective evacuation a investigate the source of the smoke before taking any action b activate the fire alarm and guide customers and staff to the nearest exits c 
attempt to extinguish the fire on her own without alerting anyone. D. Call her supervisor to ask for instructions before doing anything. Correct answer. B. Activate the fire alarm and guide customers and staff to the nearest exits. Explanation. In the event of smoke or fire, the primary responsibility is to ensure the safety of all occupants by activating the fire alarm and guiding them to the nearest exits, investigating the source of the smoke, or attempting to extinguish the fire without proper equipment and training can be dangerous. Immediate action to alert and evacuate everyone is essential to prevent injuries and potential loss of life. This aligns with Maryland's emergency procedures and fire safety protocols, Maryland Fire Prevention Code. Question 24. When analyzing a potential security threat in a Maryland office building, what is the first step a security guard should take? A. Immediately confront the suspected individual. B. Gather and assess all available information about the situation. C. Notify local law enforcement without further investigation. D. Ignore the threat until more evidence is available. Correct answer. B. Gather and assess all available information about the situation. Explanation. The first step in analyzing a potential security threat is to gather and assess all available information about the situation. This involves observing the environment, collecting data from witnesses, and evaluating any suspicious behavior or evidence. Confronting the individual without sufficient information can escalate the situation, and notifying law enforcement prematurely may lead to unnecessary alarm. Ignoring the threat is not an option as it can compromise safety. Maryland's guidelines for security operations emphasize the importance of thorough assessment and situational awareness, Maryland Department of Public Safety and Correctional Services. Question 25. During a large public event in Maryland, what is the best approach for a security guard to manage and control a crowd effectively? A. Use physical force to push the crowd back if they get too close. B. Establish clear barriers and guide the crowd using verbal commands and signage. C. Ignore the crowd until they start causing problems. D. Allow the crowd to move freely and intervene only in emergencies. Correct answer. B. Establish clear bearers and guide the crowd using verbal commands and signage. Explanation. Effective crowd control involves establishing clear bearers and guiding the crowd using verbal commands and signage. This proactive approach helps prevent congestion and potential incidents by directing the flow of people in an organized manner. Using physical force can escalate tensions, and ignoring the crowd or allowing them to move freely can lead to safety hazards. Maryland's guidelines for managing large crowds emphasize the importance of clear communication and preventive measures to ensure safety and order Maryland Department of Public Safety and Correctional Services. Question 26. John, a security guard at a Maryland shopping center observes a shoplifter attempting to flee. What should John do to handle the situation within legal boundaries? A. Chase a shoplifter and use any necessary force to apprehend them. B. Use reasonable force to detain the shoplifter until law enforcement arrives. C. Ignore the shoplifter and focus on preventing further thefts. D. Attempt to negotiate with the shoplifter to return the stolen items voluntarily. Correct answer. B. Use reasonable force to detain the shoplifter until law enforcement arrives. Explanation. In Maryland, security guards are permitted to use reasonable force to detain a shoplifter until law enforcement arrives. This means using the minimum amount of force necessary to prevent the individual from escaping without causing undue harm. Chasing and using excessive force can lead to legal repercussions. Ignoring the shoplifter or trying to negotiate may not be effective and could allow the suspect to escape. Understanding and adhering to the legal guidelines for the use of force is critical in such situations. Maryland Code, Criminal Law SS 3201. Question 27. When conducting a security patrol in a Maryland facility, what is the most effective way to ensure thorough coverage and accurate reporting? A. Follow the same route at the same time every day. B. Vary the patrol routes and times while taking detailed notes of observations. C. Focus only on high-risk areas and ignore the rest of the facility. D. Conduct patrols quickly to cover as much ground as possible without taking notes. Correct answer. B. Vary the patrol routes and times while taking detailed notes of observations. Explanation. Varying patrol routes and times helps prevent predictability and ensures thorough coverage of the facility. 
Taking detailed notes of observations during patrols is essential for accurate reporting and identifying any patterns or potential security threats. Following the same route at the same time can be easily anticipated by potential intruders. While focusing only on high-risk areas or conducting quick patrols without documentation can lead to overlooked vulnerabilities. Maryland's guidelines for security patrols emphasize the importance of unpredictability and detailed reporting to maintain effective security operations. Maryland Security Professionals Act. Question 20. Under Maryland law, in what situations is a security guard allowed to use deadly force? A. To apprehend any suspected criminal. B. Only when there is an immediate threat of death or serious bodily harm to themselves or others. C. S. A deterrent to prevent potential crimes. D. When attempting to subdue an unruly individual. Correct answer. B. Only when there is an immediate threat of death or serious bodily harm to themselves or others. Explanation. Maryland law permits the use of deadly force by a security guard only when there is an immediate threat of death or serious bodily harm to themselves or others, using deadly force to apprehend any suspected criminal as a deterrent, or when attempting to subdue an unruly individual is not justified under the law. This restriction is in place to ensure that deadly force is used only as a last resort to protect lives and minimize harm. Maryland Code, Criminal Law SS3-201. Question 29. Emily a security guard at a Maryland office building notices an individual attempting to enter the building without proper identification. What should Emily do according to Maryland's access control guidelines? A. Allow the individual entry as long as they seem harmless. B. Politely request identification and deny entry if not provided. C. Ignore the situation and continue with her duties. D. Call the police immediately without engaging with the individual. Correct answer. B. Politely request identification and deny entry if not provided. Explanation. In accordance with Maryland's access control guidelines, Emily should politely request identification from the individual attempting to enter the building without proper credentials. If the individual fails to provide satisfactory identification, Emily should deny entry to maintain the security of the premises. Allowing entry without proper identification or ignoring the situation could compromise the safety and security of the building. Calling the police immediately without attempting to engage with the individual first may escalate the situation unnecessarily. Maryland Security Professionals Act. Question 30. What is the responsibility of a security guard in Maryland regarding workplace safety? A. Only intervene if directly asked for assistance by employees. B. Follow all safety protocols and procedures to ensure a safe work environment. C. Ignore safety hazards unless they pose an immediate threat. D. Delegate safety responsibilities to management personnel. Correct answer. B. Follow all safety protocols and procedures to ensure a safe work environment. Explanation. A security guard in Maryland is responsible for following all safety protocols and procedures to ensure a safe work environment for employees and visitors. This includes actively identifying and addressing safety hazards, adhering to established safety protocols, and taking appropriate action to prevent accidents or injuries. Ignoring safety hazards or delegating safety responsibilities to others is not acceptable and may lead to preventable incidents. Maryland's workplace safety regulations emphasize the importance of collective responsibility for maintaining a safe and healthy work environment, occupational safety, and health act. OSHA, a Maryland.